Doomed, Doctor. Doomed! You are piloting your TARDIS into a deadly trap, and even you will not suspect until it's far too late. <laughs> you know, if you're going to spy on me, you really should turn the speaker off. What? <laughs> My dear Doctor, after our many centuries of conflict, naturally I wished you to know that your certain death is now certain! <laughs> but even you will never suspect that your destruction awaits you on planet Zaston 4. You only turned the picture off, I'm afraid. I can still hear you. I know that. Of course I know that. Curse you! Now, I wanted to talk to you anyway. I have some news that even my arch enemy needs to hear. Uh, meet me on the planet Tercerus in two hours relative time. And do try not to be late. Walk me while you may, Doctor. My revenge will be all the sweeter. And it will be a deadly vengeance. It will be the deadly vengeance of deadly revenge! <laughs> Planet Tercerus, once home to the Tercerons, the most kindly and peace-loving race I've ever encountered, and yet the most shunned and abhorred species in all history. Why? They could communicate only by precisely modulated gastric emission. Oh, no. Planet of the bottom burgers. So what happened to them? They discovered fire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, because no one has set foot on this planet for a hundred years, you thought you had escaped my traps of death. But you forget, Doctor, I too have a TARDIS. When you told me to meet you at Castle Tercerus, I simply travelled back in time a hundred years. And I bribed the architect. Say hello to the Spikes of Doom. <laughs> Say hello to the sofa of reasonable comfort. Naturally, I anticipated your journey back in time, and so I travelled slightly further back and bribed the architect first. Or so you think. Naturally, I anticipated your travelling back in time, so I travelled back in time to an even further point. And I bribed the architect first. <laughs> Well, naturally, I anticipated your journey back to an even earlier point. Doctor, will you stop showing off? You've got something to tell the Master. Just tell him. Very well. I recently calculated that I have saved every planet in the known universe a minimum of 27 times. But, you know, I have grown weary of all the evil in the cosmos, all the cruelty, all the suffering, all those endless gravel quarries. And so I have decided to retire, settle down, and get married. What? Yes. Without even knowing I was looking, I have found a woman to love. A woman more fascinating than all my travels through time and space. A girl more exciting than an escape up a ventilation shaft. A lover more thrilling than an army of cybernetic slugs. Sadly, Doctor, I cannot wish you a long and happy marriage. Because the moment I'm done with this nauseating conversation, I shall travel back in time once more and buy the architect an expensive dinner and suggest he fits a lever just here and a trapdoor leading to the vast and disgusting sewers of Tercerus. Exactly there! Prepare for 500 miles of fear and feces. Goodbye forever, Mr. 
and misuse. Doctor! <laughs> Since you appear to have fallen down a sewer, you won't be able to have dinner with the architect. Although, in fact, he's already eaten. Because I had dinner with him and suggested he place the trapdoor right here. What? Oh. Keep along, my dear. Not so fast. How can he be here? He just fell in the sewers. And why is he so much older? Because it's taken me 312 years to climb out of those sewers. And then naturally you found your TARDIS and travelled back in time to the present day. No doubt to wreak one of your terrible revenge things. <laughs> yes. But this time, I did not come alone. <laughs> Three centuries of climbing through those sewers. Only the Daleks would accompany me. Because only the Daleks don't have noses. So, Doctor, we meet again! Yes. How are things? Observe, Doctor. I am no longer merely a Time Lord. My body has been augmented by superior Dalek technology. So what can you do with that, then? What? You don't know, do you? I... Exterminate! 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 No! No! After 312 years of climbing through the biggest and most disgusting sewers in the cosmos, after three centuries of wading through those vast, steamy lakes, climbing those huge, squelchy mountains, after a lifetime of only dung slugs for food, and the occasional company on those long, lonely nights. After all that, I'm going to kill the doctor myself with my own bare hands. Die, doctor! Die! Don't worry. I believe he knows the way out. This way. Should be safe in here. 